Going to be putting a base coat glaze of Glacier, which is an Emico glaze, a Celadon line, um, C19. Mix your glaze as well, shake them well, do so throughout the whole application process. So I'm going to get one thick coat and as I get the second coat done it will have absorbed really well making the second coat much easier. These celadon glazes, they're very translucent, so they let light through. This base coat of Glacier or some other lighter color really helps to highlight the glazes that I'll be applying on top. Keep about an eighth of an inch from the bottom. These Celadon glazes are fairly stable. They don't run very easily, but always want to make sure you're keeping a small lip to allow for any running that might occur right at the bottom of the pot so that it does not stick onto the kiln shelves. Always fun to glaze a piece that's been successfully bisked. This has been bisque fired at cone 04. It's a B mix clay. We'll glaze fire this to cone 5, which is 2167 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't forget the handles and the crevices. We're going to let this set up for about five minutes to make sure that this base coat is fully dried before we apply a second layer. In total, we'll do three layers. Want to make sure we really get that glacier pigment behind the other glazes that I'll be applying on top. If you glaze too close to the bottom, you can always use a damp sponge afterwards and just make sure you're cleaning the edges, especially if there is an inclined angle like this pot has, so nothing drips onto the shelves. It's a good idea to alternate direction in between the three layers of glaze. First time I went counterclockwise, Gonna let the second layer dry about five minutes as well.
second and third coat will go on more easily since the clay is already sealed. It just absorbs a lot more quickly. I'm going to glaze the inside with a lighter coat using a pitcher or a measuring cup. Have a catch ball ready and twist. And pour. You can finish up with a paintbrush. Now you've got inside and outside glazed.